But the big story on Action News this noon is another bus full of migrants seeking a fresh start in America arriving in Philadelphia this morning. It is the second such bus to pull into 30th Street Station from Texas in less than a week. The city says 46 people seeking asylum were greeted with blankets and coats on this blustery and cold day. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez was there and has the latest now on their arrival and what comes next. A second bus full of families legally seeking asylum in the U.S. arrived in Philadelphia this morning at 30th Street Station. City leaders and local organizations lined up ready to give them a joyful welcome, a warm jacket, and a cozy blanket. Kevin Arbolada says it was a two-month trip from Ecuador. He says they went through the forest and it was very tough. They saw a lot of people dying and had to stop along the way. It was difficult psychologically, he says, for he and his wife since they're carrying their three-year-old child. He also says once they got to the U.S., the treatment was much better. His daughter Sophia was very happy to be here, saying she feels good but cold. How do you feel, mommy? Bien. Bien. Está frío? Sí. Pero te gusta. So far, I think it's very smooth, and people have been very thankful. You know, get a little coffee, a little snack, and then go to the shelter. Local nonprofit organizations like Casa de Venezuela and Juntos helped organize resources for about 30 families who plan to seek temporary shelter in North Philadelphia. We did have a bigger group this time, um, but because of the momentum that we've built, I feel really confident that we'll be able to meet everyone's needs, which is medical care, housing, um, transportation, um, and even finding um, local employment. Today, about 30 of them boarded another bus to a temporary shelter, and about a dozen people stayed at 30th Street Station, waiting for their family to take them to another destination. Outside of 30th Street Station, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6, Action News.